Hey dreamers and welcome to meet this is another horror game from itch where we try to save our father's restaurant from shutting down let's begin burns burger we got a little bit of an intro here meet hey you guys know what meet means backwards team that uh, was terrible whatever hell yeah Okay, Burns Burger, hey. Cinnamon Toast Ken, what are you doing here? Okay, long intro. Very cool though, I like it. Very cinematic and thrown right in. I don't know if that music was original or not, but that was good. The restaurant is getting emptier every day. This way, we're going to go bankrupt. Well, you need to get out there with a sign in your hand so you can spin it and gain some custom wars. Got a meat locker here, which is typical for a meat restaurant. Which, with, like, you know, actual meat. Not anything like McDonald's or anything. That's not real meat. Come on, guys. You know that. I collected dirty dishes from the tables. Oh. All right. A dirty plate. Well, you should probably do that, like, as they leave and not leaving it there. Uh, how long have these plates been here? No wonder you got no customers, you dirty slob. Okay. I'm going to put this in the sink. Sink, 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 sink. Boom. Wash them. Now what? Anything else you want me to do? Am I done here? Bye. Are you a customer? walked into me like that you want something i'll help you i mean we're closed i guess but whatever good evening i would like a burger with salad good evening i'm sorry sir we're out of meat no meat this is a damn restaurant i'm sorry sir yeah well if you have no more meat you close you don't leave the restaurant open because then people come in, they get disappointed, and they may never come back. That's uh, you lost a customer. Better to be closed than to have them come back another day to give this place a try. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not a restaurant owner, but I feel like that's just common sense. All right. I don't know what else you need me to do here. Chris, you scared me, brother. Chris. Brother, this way our restaurant will go bankrupt. We can't let the restaurant go bankrupt. It was our father's passion. We've run out of money. The value of meat is very high. No meat, no hamburgers, no customers. Shit, we need to find a way. We're already two months behind on our bills. I know how to save our restaurant. Tell me, brother, I'll do anything. We need meat to make our burgers. Maybe we can get free meat. And how are we gonna get free meat? Simple. You kill people and bring them to me. I prepare the burgers. Are you crazy, bro? Kill people? Either we do this or we're gonna have to close the restaurant. What the fuck, bro? This is crazy. The only way, brother. We promised our father that we would take care of the restaurant. Shit, shit, okay. I can do this. Okay, try to catch someone alone. You need to be quick without witnesses. He's kind of saying that like he's done this before. Okay, no problem. I'll need the revolver and your van. You can take the van. The revolver is under the seat. Take care, brother. I love you. Okay, leave it to me. I love you, brother. Wow, what a heartfelt conversation. It's almost like our dad's no longer with us, and I'm here, to, and we're just going to start killing people for that. Listen, you might as well just not do this. Your dad's gone. He can't see you. Where's the van? Do I know where this van is? Oh, never mind. Got it. Thanks, bro. Give me that drive. I guess I'm bringing it to the front. Oh, I'm going to go out and kill somebody and bring in this restaurant. Uh, a revolver. Should probably get a knife. I feel like a revolver. Well, I guess revolver wouldn't leave fingerprints. But uh, you're probably going to wake up the neighbors with that. 
Not if they live in an open field. Actually, I uh, take back what I just said. There's freaking no one out here except butterflies and moths and this random cabin in the middle of nowhere. I have a gun, by the way. I'm going to announce before I come in. Oh, break. Ah, yeah. Where are you going? Hello? Well, I don't have the gun yet, do I? <laughs> I never took out the gun. Uh, yeah, you're running towards the van. I should have grabbed the gun out of the van, I guess. Hold on, sir. I need to go get my gun. You sit right there. I won't let you get away. Bum, bum, bum. Hold on, man. Hold on. Yes, by the way, guys, this is the same developer as uh, Community. If you recognize some of the sounds. All right, I need your body now, sir. Thanks. Get in there. Voila. Just gonna fucking kill him and then come back to my lovely brother. My favorite brother, my only brother. My family. We need him. We need him for what? Wait, what if I kill my own brother for me? He has no next of kin. It's me. Just kill him. No witnesses. Actually, no, I can't. I can't do that to my brother, man. Hopefully there's nobody inside. They don't see me carrying this body. Is there a back door I can go through? No. That would have been too easy. I guess we're just gonna keep going. Brother? Where are you? Still in the back door, not helping? You could have helped me at least. Hi, brother. I guess I gotta put this in the locker. Ah, yes. Boom! I got you. You did it, brother. I thought you wouldn't have the courage. That was insane, bro. I did what you asked me. Together, we'll save this restaurant. Take a knife. Take some meat so I can make the burgers. Okay, I can do that. Take the knife. I'm gonna go cut him up for you, brother. Ah, remove skin. Yes. The meat. I can't wait to eat this. It's gonna be so good. I put the knife down, I guess. Uh, brother, am I supposed to do something else there? Oh, cut steak. Oh, steak, brother. I got the meat for you. Give steak. There you go, bro. Show me what you can do. Show me your culinary skills. One month later. Okay. Are we gonna see how successful this place has become? Nope, not a soul in here. Of course. It took you a month to cook those burgers? Man, you should have let me do that. Take you do the murdering. Obviously you suck at cooking. Alright. I guess I can talk to my bro again. Or not. What am I doing now? Gonna go check out the back place? What am I doing here, brother? What are those burgers? They look good, though. Am I supposed to go kill someone else? Oh, customer, of course. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Wait, um, I mean... Uh, I forgot the name. Barnes? Barnes Burger? Samantha. Hello, I want a burger, please. Oh, Samantha. Hello, you can sit down. I'll take it to you right away. No salad. Good. I need a burger. Oh, I was just about to grab it with my hand. Oh, here I come. That looks like a good burger, bro. I mean, it took him a month to cook it, but he seems to do a very good job. At least I hope he did. After a month, I'm going to watch you eat that. Eat it. Eat the burger. Now. Maybe she doesn't want to be watched. Okay. Oh. What just happened? No, she's eating it. Uh, why are you eating it sideways? What's wrong with you? Psychopath. That's a freaking serial killer right there. Not me. Can I get a rating when you're done? I want to know if you enjoy that or not. Maybe she knows the familiar taste of human meat. That was like a pretty good burger, I must say. Another satisfied customer. I'll collect the dirty plate. Ah, she never even paid me. Bunk. 
You proud of me, brother? You better be. Oh, another customer. Yes. Stan. Good evening. I heard that here they serve the best burger in the entire region. Good evening, sir. What do you want? That sounds kind of rude, but all right. I'd like a burger with extra salad, please. You mean lettuce? I used to say salad all the time. Like, I'm talking to you guys here, not the game. When I was in high school and stuff, I used to say a salad instead of lettuce. And people make, used to make fun of me for it. So, I'm going to make fun of this guy now. You can sit down. I'll bring your burger in a minute. All right, bro. Let me get your burger. Extra salad. I didn't get him the extra salad. He's not going to be happy. I mean, I guess there's a big old leaf there, but... That's all you're going to get, sir. I'll talk to my brother. Our meat supply is running out. No! The restaurant is doing very well, brother. Our father would be proud. Yes, but our meat is already running out. You need to bring more meat, bro. That customer is alone. It's the perfect target. Damn, brother. You are a lunatic. Lunatic. We are both, bro. We are both, bro. Now go and kill. Okay. Oh, the gun. Headshot. I bet you many first-person shooters. You can't stop this. Give me your fucking corpse. More meat for me. I should have let him pay you first. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. We can just take his money. I'm going to cut him up. Boom. I need a steak, sir. Cut steak. Et voila. For you, brother. Thanks for this, brother. You are saving our restaurant. You don't need to thank me. I do this for our father. Our father would be proud of you, brother. Would he? He'd be proud of... Uh, of <laughs> He'd be proud of both of us, bro. I'm going to prepare some hamburgers. Stay at reception in case any customers are there. There's blood in from the, everywhere in the entrance. Leave it to me, brother. They're not going to see the blood? Oh, it's gone. It magically disappeared. All right. Uh, I'm just going to leave that dirty plate there. That's no, not good. Once again, sanitary closed that door. No one can't let them see. Can't let them see. Any customers out here? Um, brother, we said, think we have a problem. Uh, all right. I'll just, uh, Hey, what can I get for you, sir? Officer. Good evening. I need to speak to Chris Burns. He's my brother. What do you want with him? A man disappeared a month ago. A witness saw his brother's van parked near his house. His brother? I'm his brother. My brother didn't do anything. I'm always here with him. Don't worry. I just need to ask him a few questions. Okay. No problem. He's in the kitchen. I'll let him know. Hey, Chris. We have a problem. Shit, man. What does this cop want? He wants to talk to you, brother. Shit, we're going to be arrested. I forgot who was talking there for a second. Relax, brother. We won't be arrested. We're going to kill him, too? What the fuck, bro? A witness saw your van at the crime scene. Relax, bro. I'll talk to him. I'll sort it out. You seem like a guy that could talk to somebody. Okay, okay. You're going to kill him, aren't you? Oh. I thought the shadow was his butt. I was like, brother. Whoa, what are you doing to me? But... I mean, he, I knew it. He's going to kill him. Chris, don't do it. Oh, I can't even go out there. He closed the door. Chris, don't do it. He's going to kill him. Boom. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, for the restaurant. Oh, my God, Chris. You're crazy. He's coming back. All right. You want me to deal with that now? I'll just... Quick, bro. Bring his body. Yes, sir! I got it. Everything's okay. More meat! More meat! 
I never thought I would have the courage to kill someone. He told me he would have to take me to prison. Everything's fine, brother. But now what? Well, what will we do? Everything will be fine. We have enough meat for two months. He's a damn cop. They're going to find out what we did. Relax, brother. I'm going to get rid of the cars. Everything will be fine. Okay, brother. I trust you. I don't know, man. Hiding a, a dead body is one thing, but a cop that's investigating something where people know where he's going? Not going to be an easy task there, brother. I guess I'm just supposed to leave now. They got the dirty plate. Oh. What just happened? One week later. Ah, this is over. He said we have enough food for two months. This one week jump is suspicious. What's going to happen now? Oh, I'm playing. <laughs> Oops. I was waiting. I thought it was a cutscene. Chris? Where'd you go, bro? What's this extra body doing here? Is that my brother? Better not be. With this rain, I don't think we will have any more customers today. Chris? Where you at, bro? Chris? Shit, where'd you go, man? Brother? You wouldn't just leave me by myself, would you? Not in the van. Where the fuck is my brother? Wait, what's that? I thought that was garbage bags. Where's my bro? You wait, you just disappeared or what? The fuck? Bro? Chris? I'm so lost right now. Chris? Power always goes out when it rains. Oh. Strange. The door is stuck. Huh? Okay. I just wanted to close the door. Chris? Brother? Oh, the meat. Where are the bodies? What the fuck is going on? The meat is moving. The meat is alive. The door is locked. Uh-oh. Chris must be kidding me. Nah. I don't want to go back there anymore. Can we go back to killing? That was fun. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> the meat! Where's my brother? Oh, you took him too? Fools! You'll never... You'll, you'll, you'll never get away from me. Oh, it's just a dream. Of course. Well, did I still kill, kill someone? Does that happen? I'm made of meat now. Don't do that. Don't you give me that ending. Shit, it was just a dream. Was it? Why did this just ring? Gotta go check the meat first. Chris? Oh, you're still... Oh. Hi, brother. We're doing great, brother. Very well. Okay. What are you doing in here, bro? You're going to freeze. It's hot, bro. I'm just cooling off a little. I need your help. <clears throat> got it bro what do you need there's a homeless man outside he's been bothering our customers i need you to put an end to him i can do this no problem but don't use the gun we can't take too many risks the police are watching us okay what can i use then there's an axe inside the bathroom you can use that okay i'll do it now okay so when i said you know back to killing i didn't think it was actually gonna happen so, random axe in the bathroom? Kinda... That's uh, odd. Not many restaurants have that in the bathroom. Where's this homeless man you speak of, huh? By the trash, I guess? Oh, he's back here. What's up? Come here, boy! Oh! No! Where'd he go? Oh! Ah! Nobody saw that. Take the corpse to the freezer. Gonna have some hamburgers. Everybody loves our meat. <laughs> Look at me standing there with the body. Boom. That's so funny. 
I'm still smiling though. I'm still happy. It's a Halloween decoration, boys. It's fine. Boom. What about Chris? It was all me. I'll take the blame so my brother can live on. One year later. Oh, I'm in a fucking solitary room now. The rubber room. Does it have rats? A rubber room with rats. Oh, I'm crazy. Open the door. I want to get out. Let me out of here. Someone's coming? Who is it? Is it my brother? He's coming to free me. He bailed me out. I always knew he would. You're not Chris. Dr. Martin. Good morning, Jerry. Please sit on the bed. Uh, can I not? I guess I have no choice. You're just gonna not have a guard with you or anything? I could murder you, like, right now. Are you ready to talk, Jerry? I'm confused. I know I've done terrible things. Admitting your mistake is the first step. Why did you kill those people? I did it to save my father's restaurant. I did it together with my brother. Come on, man. Why would you say that? You're supposed to, like, take the blame. Your brother? That's impossible, Jerry. After my father's death, he was the only one who stayed by my side. Tell me where he is, please. He's been dead. How much you guys want to bet? I'm sorry about what happened to your family. It must have been a huge trauma. I regret what I did, but I couldn't disappoint my brother. He also loved the restaurant. Are you talking about Chris Burns? Are you sure he was with you, Jerry? Yes, he was by my side the whole time. There was just the two of us. Jerry, that's impossible. What are you talking about, Doctor? What did you do to my brother? Your brother was in a car accident along with your father. They both died, Jerry. No, he's alive. He was with me. I know it's difficult to accept the truth. I'll give you some more time so you can think about everything. Okay, so he just leaves. All right, I'm just going to, like, suffer some more, I guess. Thanks, man. You're supposed to help me. But instead, you're making me go crazier. Oh, the meat! My brother. My brother, I missed you. I'm proud of you, brother. That's a lot of meat. Mwah. Love you, brother. Very nice. Very nice. Well, guys, that was meat. I must say, this was a perfect horror game. I loved every second of it. There was a good ending. There was some pretty decent scares. And it was funny at times. I enjoyed this a lot. And it, it was not free, so I paid like a dollar for it. Totally worth the price tag. Incredible. I can't wait to play more from this developer. That was actually really, really good. Well, guys, that was meat. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, why not leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you in the next one. It's time to cut up the meat now. <laughs>